Welcome to the Shoe Tree Brewcast, where we talk about the latest in all things shoe tree. Also, sometimes we talk about mushrooms. Ladies and gentlemen, here's your host, Jeff and Paul Young. Alright, well happy Monday morning, or I guess probably afternoon as you guys get this, but we're filming day of. It's a blustery Monday morning when we're doing this today. Yep. And so Got let's... The new time slot mondays yeah for the for the brewcasts are coming yeah i like it it's not as uh hectic trying to squeeze it in yeah we're more laid back today so we're um uh, working out the schedule where we're packaging only three days a week instead of five days a week because of the new canner so we can uh get more done in a day and then that is freeing us up on certain days to do stuff like this so yeah so uh let's just jump into it let's and the one that is probably not going to be on for very long is the bruiser because that thing is just flying out um that's our blackberry blueberry sour yep. and that's a very popular beer it's getting really good reviews and it's flying out the door so we're we are um brewing that again actually today so to hopefully get it back out to you guys because we have a feeling that this thing's going to be gone before everybody gets a chance to try it yeah. um let's see yeah it. we're done a label for you this weekend too they just need some finishing touches so um that'll be coming to cans that'll be awesome and then that's on at both locations on draft um the cvp also went on uh, both locations. Yep, Carson so, Valley Pilsner is back. Mm-hmm. So that's back on. Um, is the ESB on at yep, both, both locations, locations as well? And then Handshake King is back on in Carson um, and coming soon to Minden, right? Yep. Yeah, and then um, Eddie of All Trades, dude, that thing just evaporated. So I'm pretty sure that's also going to get a label and we're going to start uh brewing a bunch more of that um so i'm hoping that goes on is going on is that coming back to carson or is that going to go on in uh minden? we're going to take a keg from minden and then it'll go on in minden sometime this week and then uh we'll get another keg of it in carson to go uh back on all right but so be forewarned though it's going to go fast it, yeah as soon as it's on it'll probably be gone with the in the, a day or two yeah um, but like we said we're gonna be putting a label together and brewing a bit big batch of it so it's coming down the line yeah look for that then um just some beers that are coming up that's in the tank uh tangy peach is coming back that was a real popular sour um tangerine peach so that's in the tank and getting transferred into bright today and then um mexican lagers obviously making a comeback on cinco de mayo i believe <coughs> and um also i think everybody will be excited to learn that coco burrito is coming back yep getting um, it today part of a double batch yeah so and then um we can talk we also are going to be brewing this week it's not in the tank yet our beer for strange brew which is we like to keep it a secret till day of because we like to build the anticipation but um it is going to be a sour beer and so look forward to that coming up there'll yeah. be two different beers yeah it's going to be a f fun one yeah themed out um just like we always try to do so yeah we're, we're hoping excited. to go big for strange brew man it is blowing like crazy out there wow she's ripping <laughs> okay so that pretty much wraps up uh beers that are on beers that are coming up uh paul do you want to talk a little bit about the fundraiser in minden yeah so uh thursday night cinco de mayo um we're doing a fundraiser raffle taco truck the bartenders are donating their tips uh we're giving a chunk of the sales 
all that kind of stuff for the Bonner family, which we're doing the helping handle right now is the ESB. Which is also the ESB, right? Um, yeah. So that is going to be going on. And then. And that's Thursday, that's right? That's Thursday, the normal music night. We just decided to pair it up. Um, and that leads kind of into music this week. We have the March Divide, which is a touring act. So he's from Texas. Oh, cool. Um, and he's going around touring, like, from what I saw, bars and breweries and stuff. So he's actually going to play Carson on Tuesday and then play the fundraiser on uh, Thursday. <laughs> so um, That's awesome. Cool, really cool act. I've checked out some of his um, music online and uh, – the great vibe and we just thought it worked perfect for the fundraiser night so so if you can get out there thursday cinco de mayo um drink some beer for a good cause mm -hmm. and feel good about it yep it's gonna be a good time and um double up drink that uh, esb and then the you know the all the profits for the esb yeah. are gone plus then the daily sale yeah rice know. street says they're gonna hook it up with some raffle prizes our distributor usually comes up with something cool, so mm -hmm. um, got favors in fr from all in. So hopefully we have some cool raffle prizes, and we're going to be throwing down uh, some cool raffle prizes as well. So you can win some cool stuff. You can have a beer, get out of the house, support, uh, support a local a family, lo a local family, and uh, yeah. So it should be a really, really good time uh, this Thursday. Right on. So that. Well, you already pretty much covered the music on Tuesday here in Carson, so... Yep, double header for him. That pretty much just wraps us up, I think. Yeah, there's not much on the 10-gallon spores uh, front. It's not today, 10-gallon um, spores. Today, we got the fruiting tent uh, all sanitized, and then I like to run it for a couple days and make sure that the humidity is stable, the temperature is stable, and that's proven, so... I'm hoping um, actually today we'll um, put our uh, Florida oyster fruiting blocks into the fruiting chamber and uh, let them fruit and, well, fingers crossed, let them fruit. Yep. And if that happens, that'll be, you know, I mean, depending on how well it goes, that'll be the first real successful fruits we've had off of our spent grain so that's exciting and then we're also getting ready to follow that up with some aspen oysters so stay tuned for that yeah hopefully we have some cool 10 gallon spores updates for you coming in the next uh, couple weeks guys so right on. thanks be, for oh sorry oh i was just gonna say i'll be curious to see how much of this um wind storm comes through on the audio because it is like it's blowing a, a trash can around outside <laughs> you like, hear the, the building over in is creaking and yeah it there's like a dust bowl going probably a tornado happening <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right cheers all right, guys cheers.